dollar bribes received by Senate President Lawan, Speaker Bajagbamila, other lawmakers to pass controversial bill. Exposed. Greetings to you all. Hope you are doing great in our respective locations. A reminder to all my subscribers, yet to be subscribers and returning subscribers. Whenever you start to feel overwhelmed by the reality of an unknown future, I hope you remember that today used to be one of those days that you worried so tirelessly about. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. La One was paid two million US dollar. Why Bajagbamila was paid one point five us million dollar as bribes nigeria senate president ahmed lawan and the speaker of the house of representatives femi bajagbamila were paid in dollars millions of naira to ensure the passage of the controversial petroleum industry bill pib recently signed into law by president muhammad buhari Sahara Reporters has learnt. A top source told Sahara Reporters that other federal lawmakers, senators, and House of Representative members also received bribes in dollars to ensure the passage of the bill. Lawa was paid two million US dollar, while Bajagbamila was paid one point five million US dollar. As bribes, the source said. The payment of the monies were said to have been facilitated by the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Temipre Sevier. Each senator was paid 20,000 US dollars by members of the lower chamber. House of Representatives were paid 5,000 US dollars each, the source added the nigeria senate recently passed the petroleum industry bill approving three percent of host communities despite calls from various quarters that the provisions made for host communities should be revealed upward the upper chamber passed the bill 2021 after the clause by clause consideration of the report of its joint committee on petroleum upstream downstream and gas on BIP. The Senate had before then had a closed section with Sevier and the group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, Mele Kiari. Stakeholders had vehemently rejected the provisions of the mm -hmm. bill in respect to the percentage ceded to host communities, urging Buhari not to sign the bill into law. For instance, the host communities of Nigeria producing oil and gas host on said it was insulting for the Senate and House of Representatives to cede only 3 and 5 percent equity shareholding respectively to the oil and gas producing communities in the petroleum industry bill passed. Their president Benjamin Tamanarebi said the BIP passed by NAS was a fruitless exercise and unacceptable to the host communities. It was quoted as saying, imagine for over 63 years of neglect, the privation and marginalization of the Aborigines who have suffered untold hardship in the midst of wealth for the first time after many years of agitation asking for only 10 percent equity shareholding and the leadership of nas is considering five percent and three percent viewing it that they have done us a favor this is unacceptable and we reject the offer it is our sole right as the aborigines it is our land it is our waterways Nigeria is claiming it because we are from Nigerian state. Then why denying our rights to benefit? 
right to have clean environment, right to have portable water to drink, good hospitals, electricity, good roads, but leaving us in abject poverty, in a desecrated environment without considering the UNFCCC CDM criteria. We will still store the other areas in the bill to address it in due course. For example, section 142 on gas flaring, where funds on penalty should be paid to the government. We reserve to store the other sections, but it's a fruitless exercise as usual, he said. In the approval bill, the Senate approved a funding mechanism of 30% of NMPC's profit from oil and gas from frontier basins. This fund is for oil exploration in frontier states. However, in the report, the states referred to as frontier basins were not clearly stated. This had also generated controversies as it is provision is seen to be in favor of northern states where oil exploration is being carried out. In their July 5th meeting, governors of Nigeria's southern states also rejected the proposed 3% share to host communities in the petroleum industry bill. A communique issued by the governors at the end of their meeting in Lagos said the governors instead supported 5% share to the communities. However, the forum rejects the ownership structure of the proposed Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPC. The forum disagrees that the company be vested in the Federal Ministry of Finance, but should be held in trust by Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority. Since all tiers of government have stakes in that vehicle, it said. Also, the Pan Niger Data Forum rejected the 3% approval for the development of host communities by the Senate. The National Publicity Secretary of PANDEF, Ken Robinson, while reacting to the approval, said the government cannot transform the oil industry without transforming the communities in whose backyard the industry is operated. The region is the biggest victim of the fraudulent Nigeria constitution we are using and the loop-sided nature of the country. So what played out is what is playing out in every aspect of the country, particularly under this present president, he said. A former provost, marshal of the Nigeria Army, Brigadier General Idada Aikonwe, said the three five percent proposed as a benefit for host communities under the host community trust despite the abundant oil wells in their land why 30 percent is earmarked for exploration of oil in the northern part of the country in the beep is an open invitation to anarchy he said the idea of 3% or 5% proposed as a benefit for host communities from oil proceeds, why 30% is embarked for exploration of oil in the northern part of the country, clearly reveals arrogance, insensibility, disdain on part of the proponent of the beep. Deeply examined, it is an open invitation to anarchy. This move cannot be acceptable to those who have bought the bonds of oil exploration and exploitation of oil and gas in Niger Delta. The president must be enjoyed to reject the bill and have seen return to the National Assembly. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. If this allegation is true, ab. The initiators of the bribe and those who collected the bribe to the detriment of the poor masses will be roasted in fire. In fact, they will die miserably by God's grace. Abba, greediness everywhere. God punished devil. God punished them because they are the incarnates of devil here on earth. Just listen to this battle.
Even the fact that frontiers are 30% and host community only 3% means there is a high level of corruption and conspiracy involving the frontiers with Northern Kabaz. Ojuku and Nandikano, we are right. Nigeria po politicians, we do anything to keep positions. They can even say they are, they, are, they, they are family members, just like the boy that was saying he can kill his mom and his dad for rituals today in a video on YouTube. These all old story I'm hearing can cause the federal government and its evil collaborators far more than 10 or 50 percent respectively in the fullness of time. There is a grand plan to throw the South-South region into chaos. Their actions are deliberate, but we draw strength from the fact that our region is blessed with good governors. In the likes of Okoa, Wiki, Odom, Abaseki, Ayande, and the very brilliant Bayesa governor, together we shall conquer. Please kindly give us with a thumbs up and please click on the notification button for more authentic news. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.